So, what is a foil? The word foil comes from the old French word fui, meaning leaf or sheet, which comes from the Latin word folia, which means leaves. Jewelers used to set sheets under gem displays to make the jewels seem shinier. As such, foils became associated with comparison. A foil is a character in literature who provides a parallel story to another character, usually the main protagonist. A foil may be similar to the character, either in their goals, their decisions, or their personalities, while differing in other key ways. We can see the use of foils in literature through the works of William Shakespeare, the legendary English Renaissance playwright and poet. This is most clearly seen through his work, Hamlet. The action of Hamlet begins when Prince Hamlet is visited by the ghost of his father, who commands Hamlet to avenge his death. Hamlet's father was cruelly murdered by his brother Claudius, who married Hamlet's mother, then became king of Denmark. Hamlet sets off on a not very well thought out revenge plot, and on his way agonizes over death, life, and madness. But Shakespeare does not keep the spotlight only on Hamlet. In Act 4, Scene 5, Laertes barges into the scene. See, in the middle of his not very well thought out revenge, Hamlet accidentally kills a royal counselor, Polonius, who is Laertes' father. Now, there are two fatherless men in the court of Denmark. While Hamlet and Laertes have many similarities, their personalities are completely different. Hamlet often hesitates to kill Claudius, to the point that his father's ghost reappears in Act 3, prompting Hamlet to regret his lateness. Even so, it's still several hundred lines before he kills Claudius. Meanwhile, Laertes is too hasty. He brings a whole mob to the throne to force Claudius to reveal what happened to his father. This lets Claudius manipulate Laertes' anger, so they work together to kill Hamlet. Laertes and Hamlet are foils. In Act 5, Scene 2, before they fence, Hamlet even says, I'll be your foil, Laertes, perhaps providing an implicit nod to the character's literary connection. From their dialogue, we can see how differently the characters react to a similar situation. Laertes' quickness and his rage highlights Hamlet's procrastination and his depression. But wait! Laertes isn't Hamlet's only foil. There's also Fordenbras, the Prince of Norway, whose father was killed by Hamlet's father. Unlike Hamlet, Fordenbras adapts well to the situations he's given. Claudius is also Hamlet's foil. They're both obsessed with Hamlet's mother, both commit murder, but their reactions to killing someone are entirely different. The effect of all these foils is that we better understand who Hamlet is thanks to the contrasting characters. Meanwhile, seeing the alternate choices, the alternate stories through similar characters gives us a more complicated reading of the play. For example, should we judge Hamlet the way we do Claudius? Is Laertes a better kind of hero than Hamlet is? From this example, we can see that a good foil is similar enough to the character that we recognize the character parallels, but different enough that we wonder what the text would have been like if the hero had been more like them. You can find foils in several of Shakespeare's plays. Mercutio and Benvolio are foils to their friend Romeo in the tragic comedy of Romeo and Juliet. Mercutio's cynicism about love 
and Benvolio's sensible nature provide a contrast to Romeo's all-consuming romance, while in the tragedy of Julius Caesar, Brutus is a foil to Caesar, and Cassius is a foil to Brutus. Studying foils can enrich your reading of a work. The next time you read or see Shakespeare's plays, look for characters who seem oddly alike. There are many. Chances is you're not the only one who thinks that.